Order for flats. This is very cool, by the way. Watch this. If there's one flat in the key signature, it's always B flat. Okay? The word, the only way you're going to remember what key this is, is the word flat starts with an F. It's the key of F. Okay? The rest of them are easy. That one you have to remember. Okay? So one flat is always B flat, and it's the key of flat, F. B flat, why E flat. Did you know that? Why did you know that? I just made it up. Okay. Well, I didn't make this part up, but I made the flat part up. Okay. Now, if there's two flats in the key signature, look what it says here. To name the scale or the key for flats, just name the next to the last flat. Now, I don't know why, but everybody reacts just like you just did. No, watch. I'm just on the sharps. I'm not even okay, well, just connect from the sharps now, because watch this. This is easier than the sharps. What's the next to the last flat? This is the last flat, right? What's the next to the last flat? B flat. B flat. Two flats is the key of B flat. Just the previous. Next to the last flat. That's it. Look, if there's three, it's B, E, and A. What's the next to the last flat? B flat. B flat. Okay. That's it. If there's four, it's B, E, A, D. This spelled B. Okay, it's the key of A flat. You got it. See? B, E, A, D. Next to the last flat is the scale that has four flats in it. The A flat scale has four flats in it. Okay? Now, I learned a long time ago the hard way. I turned my car too close to a curb once, and I got a flat tire in like 10 seconds. And I went, what the heck? So I get the tow truck, or he comes and he fixes my car, and he goes, you broke the bead on your tire. And I went, bead? Bead? What bead? The bead! That's what the inside rim of a tire is called. A bead. Yeah. And if you puncture it, your tire goes flat like that. So I went, I can use this in my music class. Okay, because watch. Bead goes completely flat. Yeah. I was so excited. So B, G, C, and F. Goes completely flat. Cool, huh? So it's B, E, A, D goes completely flat. Now, if I want to play a song in uh, five flats, then I go B, E, A, D, G. What scale has five flats in it? D flat. D flat. A flat. D flat. One back. D flat. Yep. What scale has three flats in it? B, e, e, and A. One flat back is E flat. So the flat goes down, right? You fall back. Sharp, next letter up in the alphabet. Flat, next to the last flat. Make sense? Oh, don't worry. I don't care. I, you know, right now I don't care if you can name the scale. I just want you to know the order for sharps and flats. Okay? This will soak in. And if you just read this over and over and over when you get home, it'll, you'll get it. All right, and if you don't get it, then that's why we're here other times during the week for you to come in. And we can, we can help you. Now, now look, what's the order for sharps? Fat cats go down alleys eating birds. Look at this. Fat cats go down alleys eating birds. Now, you know what? I think that's pretty amazing, but it isn't going to get you anywhere. <laughs> but it's pretty cool, huh? How did that happen? It's cool. It's very cool, and it's a mystery. It is, to me, anyway, because I haven't, if anybody could tell me how that happened, I would be impressed. And I'm sure there's somebody out there in the music world that could do that. I don't really much care, but I think it's really amazing how music all just kind of just fits. And you start to put these little puzzle pieces in and you go, whoa, 
You know those little wow moments that you get occasionally? Well, in music, you get them a lot. When you start to see how everything just works together. And people who are really good, like my husband, he's so good, he can't explain any of it. You know, he's a, he's a really bad teacher. Barbara said in my class, she goes, will you teach me? And I, I sat at the table like, <laughs> don't go there. He's mean. He has no patience because people who are brilliant expect that you just get it. And I don't ever get it that way. I, I can't even begin to understand what he knows and he can't tell me. All right, so that's why I like to teach because I learned just like you did. I learned it the hard way and I want to do it fast and I want to do it easy. So the key signatures, if you just keep those silly little rules, how do you find the, or the flats, the key? Just next to the last flat back. But all I want you to do this week is look at a regular piece of music. And if you don't have any at home, go on Music Notes. Pick up some of those books. And, um, or just look at musicnotes.com and go and, and just type in the name of the song and see what comes up. And there, they'll, it'll be like four sharps. Now you know, if there's four sharps, what are they called? <laughs> Fat cats go down. F C G N D. If there are three flats, what are they? B E N A. Okay. What are the order for sharps? Fat cats go down alleys eating birds. Order for flats. B E A D. G C F goes completely flat. Now, let's have a little test. I want to play in three sharps. What are the names of the sharps? F, C, and G. All right, now, smarty pants, I want to know, and I'm trying to test you, see, here. I'm, I'm some music whiz that's trying to guess how much you can learn in a, a group class in Newcastle. F, C, and G are the three sharps. What key am I in? A. A. And if you, if you took a deep breath there when I don't know, then you psyched yourself out and you didn't remember, you just have to say the, le the next letter in the alphabet. Yeah. I had to remember it only goes up to G. And, that's right. <laughs> in fact, you could just take it four steps. Three sharps needs four answers. <clears throat> F, C, G, and A, key of A. I want to play in five sharps. So I need six words to come out of your mouth, right? Five sharps. Fat cats go down alleys. B. B. No. You say the next letter in the alphabet after you get to the five. Fat cats go down alleys. Key of? B. Two sharps. Think about it for a minute. Don't say anything. Two sharps. Now I want you to name the sharps and tell me what key it is. Okay? Fat. And cats, key of D. D. And if you made it harder than that, it's your own problem. <laughs> Stop it. Okay? Fat and cats, next letter in the alphabet. Three sharps. What are they? Fat. Oh, we did that one already. Four sharps. Fat, cats, go, down, key of E. You got it. Okay. That's sharps. All right. Next one is flats. I want to play a song in three flats. What are they? B, E, and A. Okay, again. B flat, E flat, A flat. What key are you in? E flat. Go backwards. Okay, I want to play a song in five flats. What are they? Watch. This, when I get it right here, that's the one I'm going to yell. Number four. I'm playing five flats, but I'm going to name number four really loud. B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat. What key am I in? D flat. That's it. And you know you will impress people you have no idea. If you can answer those questions, and that's all you have to do. So keep it really simple. 